Hi everyone, so I'm really sorry that all of the backgrounds are super terrible. I need to get like one of those curtain thingies. Um, I don't have that, obviously, right now. I don't know. Maybe you can just ignore it. Ignore the background, please. I wanted to do half of these questions in Mandarin because I really want to practice my Mandarin. I am wearing uh, this cool necklace that I got from like a local mall, a store that is now closed down. Um, but it was really cheap <laughs> and it's a nice necklace. And then this is just like my mom's shirt. And I'm just wearing um, a skirt. Ever been in love? Uh, my last crush was in elementary school. I consider that to be in love, so that was like my first time in love, I guess. In elementary school, nothing happened from it, um, which is fine, like whatever. Oh my gosh, I'm a weirdo. Uh, ever had a terrible breakup? No, because I've never been on a date or dated anyone, and that's a-okay. How tall am I? 160 centimeters, 5'3". How much I weigh is between, I don't weigh myself, so I'm just guessing. I mean, I'm not guessing. I know this is how much I weigh because obviously I need to know because I need to have it on my resume. How much I weigh is between 92 and 98 pounds. And I need to gain weight because where I'm at right now is way too skinny and, you know, I didn't lose a lot of weight just like on purpose um but i'm trying to gain the weight back that i lost um so yeah it's a little bit difficult because i'm vegan so i'm working on it hopefully gonna be heavier soon that is the goal any tattoos? No. Any piercings? No. OTP, Lexa and Clark from The 100. In real life, my OTP is probably like Kristen Bell and Dax Shepard. Favorite bands? Um, I don't know. I really like the Chainsmokers, except all of their songs make me cry so badly. Like, I don't know. It's just too much nostalgia and too much like sad love. Um, but I really like them. And I also like other bands like Down With Webster. Mariana Strange. I kind of liked Hey Monday, um, Headley. Oh yeah, and Christian bands like Starfield or Switchfoot, Cutler. Something I miss is I miss freedom uh, and free time. When I was a kid, I got to like go on all these playgrounds and have fun on the monkey bars, and now I'm too tall for the monkey bars, and that is tragic to me. They should make adult playgrounds. That would be great. Um, except adults don't really have free time to do any of that stuff. Okay, so how old are you? I'm 20. And then zodiac sign, I am a Cancer. Moon sign is a Leo, and my rising sign is a Leo as well. I'm going to try to answer the rest of the questions in Mandarin. Uh, quality I look for in a partner. Uh, <laughs> 哎,我中文怎么说这个? 嗯, 不会说谎, oh my gosh, I'm using English. I just want like someone to be really open and really, really, really honest. But like also really love me, of course. Favorite quote is, life is not a snapshot from... Um, a song that I really like. Oh wait, I missed that that question. Favorite song is Before the Morning by Josh Wilson or A Thousand Miles by Vanessa Carlton or Broken Wait. Boulevard of Broken Dreams by Green Day. My name is Kay by Kay. I also really like It's Good by Caitlin Tarver. That's my cell phone ringtone. Favorite color, Lisa Green. Sasson the Inya Hai Su. What the Inya just 
、呃，我伤心的时候去什么地方啊？嗯，去跟我我我的妹妹讲话。Like when I'm sad, I have to go talk to people. If there's like, if I really want to be alone, which is kind of rare, because normally I just want to be around people and talk to them, and it makes me feel better to be around people. But if I really wanted to be alone, then I would just go on a walk. Uh, shower. The shower. I shower. How long? Twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. But I only shower once a week. I only shower twice. In a week, because <laughs> I hate showering. I really hate showering. I just hate it. Ah, I think my body doesn't have any odor, so I don't need to shower so many times. Ah, I think my body doesn't have any odor, so I don't need to shower so many times. Ah, I think my body doesn't have any odor, so I don't need to shower so many times. Ah, I think my body TMI, right? Uh, 早上应该 How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? 早上嗯，一个小时，应该一个小时 Turn on is when someone has really good fashion sense and they are dressed awesomely, and you can just tell that they have their own unique style. Turn off. Uh, 如果那个男生不是一个女权。I don't know how you say feminist in Chinese, but turn off is if you're not, if a guy is not a feminist. Yeah, that's a huge turn off. Uh, the reason I joined YouTube, I just wanted to make videos for myself to watch, and just because I enjoy the concept, or I mean the process of making videos. I just like to be in videos and film videos and make them and edit them and like it's just fun for me. So I pass them. Woods, mosquitoes. That's my biggest fear. <laughs> I mean, it's not my biggest fear, but it's like a fear. Last thing that made you cry? I cried this morning because I was watching. I know I'm not answering it in Mandarin because I don't know how to say it. Last thing that made me cry was this morning I watched. An interview called "Seeing Yellow." It's about Asian American representation in Hollywood, and I cried from excitement of like just seeing an interview like this exist. It was, yeah, it's a really long interview. I didn't actually finish it yet, but I started watching it, and I was like crying, like joy, joy tears. The last time I said I loved somebody, I probably said it to the screen to Constance Wu. I was like, "Oh my God, I love you." <laughs> but okay, to be real. Probably I said it to my sister. And the book I'm currently reading is called "When the Killing's Done." It's about environmentalists versus animal rights activists. It's a fictional novel, but it's really interesting.、Uh, I'm reading it for my class. Last show I watched was Riverdale because I watched an episode of Riverdale last night. It's a CW show that has Archie Comics characters in it. The last person I talked to was my sister. Relationship between me and the last person I texted is that we are friends and we are long distance friends because 他住在美国，呃，但是有时候我会写信然后送给他，很好玩。It's like I write these letters and then we just letter like we mail them back and forth,、um, writing letters to each other. And we used to be friends from, uh, 我我认识他是从学校跟教会认识的。I know her from school and church, and she lives in the U.S. now. So, yeah, that's the last person I texted. 最喜欢吃的是什么东西？爆米花。那是我最喜欢吃的食物。我想去什么地方？我想去澳大利亚 ，Australia。呃，我的妈妈以前住过澳大利亚两年。She lived. My mom lived in Australia for two years before, so that's where I would want to go. Last place I was is school. Dash. Oh, do you have a crush? I have a celebrity crush on Chris Wu. Wu Yifan.、Uh, and then last time I kissed someone, 
Actually, I kissed Selena on the cheek. She's my friend. So I guess that's the last person I kissed. 最喜欢的甜品味道是什么？绿苹果 ，green apple, green apple flavored sweets. And I also like matcha, 绿茶 green tea, green tea flavored like ice cream and stuff like that. My favorite piece of jewelry is this cloth necklace that I have, which I'm not wearing right now. Last sport I played is like nothing. I don't play sports. Last song I sang is this song that I made up myself because sometimes I like to write songs. And my favorite pickup line, I don't know. You should just approach women like they're humans. I don't know. Just treat them like nicely.、Uh, have I ever used a pickup line? No. Last time I hung out with someone was. I hung out with my friend Selena a few days ago. We went to get vegan brunch, and then we went to see Moonlight in the movie theater, and then we went to get vegan pizzas, and then I met her boyfriend for the first time. It was fun. Something I wanted to address was that lately I've been feeling the effects of like, well, like self-objectification. So you know how women in society are. Basically, like a hundred percent of the time, sexually objectified. <laughs> well, I was doing some modeling in the last few weeks, and just like thinking about this idea of like how it feels like, I don't know, almost like prostitution. And I was like, sort of getting into this funk where I felt like, oh, like what is my worth? Like, is my worth just my appearance or something like that? And then I also felt like I wasn't loving my whole self because. It's really easy to love yourself when you are like all made up and like dressed up and looking your best. It's really easy to love that version of yourself, but I felt like the version of myself where I was bare-faced was not getting the same amount of love, and like I was not like loving that part of myself. So then this past week at school, I went to school with no makeup on, and it was very. Liberating to me, and I felt like I kind of regained this sort of sense of appreciation for myself, even when I wasn't wearing makeup. And so I wanted to also take off my makeup here.、Um, it's almost like a get unready with me video, you know, like those YouTube like beauty bloggers do. And I am gonna do that. So I'm just gonna be right back. Okay, so here I am without the makeup. And embracing my super sparse eyebrows and whatever. <laughs>、um, and I'm not trying to say like a condemnation of makeup. It's just important to recognize that makeup isn't who you are. Like you know,、um, I still think of makeup as a really wonderful thing because it's、um, self-expression. It's art, and it's that is what it is to me. And Um, it is also a way that people feel better about themselves. But it's important to also love like all of your、uh, not so maybe like beauty standards conforming aspects, like all of your scars and all of your marks that might not be very appealing. According to just like our society, which is like not something that you should follow or like try to like listen to. Like, like I have a really um this birthmark here that I'm. It's actually not a birthmark. It's called something、uh, called Becker's Nevis, and I have like lots of other spots over my body. Like, it's just. Something that you should embrace, and yeah, like I don't really believe in plastic surgery, sort of. Like I feel like that's just a way of like giving in to society's super high standards, and of course I can't.、Um, I don't want to judge other. Other people, but for me personally,、uh, I want to try to overcome and be stronger than that, and like try to just deal with my stupid lazy eye and like all these other imperfect imperfections and and 
overcome this idea that they're not good enough. And I want to come, like, work on myself enough that I can come to accept these body parts and and love them just as much as the rest of me and like you know yeah uh okay so bye <laughs> oh and p.s i'm sorry for all these people who if you're watching like i am the worst person at coming up with things to say on the spot like just thinking of things to say i'm just really bad at articulating and um